What would you do if you got the deputy president's chair unoccupied? Well, if you are not Raila Odinga, never, ever, ever dare sit on it unless you have been given the permission. Should you fail to observe this order, you will likely be whisked away by the DP security team. And Brian O'Koth tells us about this and other trending stories. I don't know what uh, is very interesting. ODM leader Raelo Dinga sat on Deputy President William Ruto's seat as he waited for Ruto to leave the podium at Bombers of Kenya during the anti-corruption conference held today. Ruto had invited Odinga to make some remarks and to avoid a moment of awkward silence. The DP continued with his speech in a bid to buy time and allow Odinga to arrive at the podium. However, the DP's speech lasted longer than the time Odinga needed to arrive to the podium, forcing the former premier to stand near President Uhuru Kenyatta for a few seconds before he settled on the DP's seat, sparking laughter in the hall. Today, you must have seen in the media, I'm shown they are naked, massaging people who are supposed to be corrupt. We are not going to win the war against corruption by that kind of, those kind of gimmicks. President Uhuru Kenyatta has urged the Chief Justice David Maraga to get used to offensive caricatures posted by bloggers after satirical pictures of a bare-chested Maraga massaging the shoulders of a governor charged with murder went viral. The image was meant to suggest that the judiciary is massaging suspects of serious crimes instead of taking action against them. And I remember there was a time, you know, we wanted to pass a law to stop these people from insulting all of us, left, right and centre. But then, you know, it was taken to court and the court decided it was unconstitutional. So. <laughs> So just like the rest of us, get used to it. <laughs> Nairobi County Communications Director Jacob Belkana says Governor Mike Sonko carried to Citizen Television Studio money meant to offset patients' medical bills at Pumwani Hospital. Jacob has refuted online claims that the county chief knowingly flossed the money believed to be on the upwards of 100,000 shillings. Jacob told Citizen TV and I quote, the governor, as you all know, likes to make impromptu visits to public facilities at night. The money you saw stashed in his court was meant to settle medical bills for patients at Pumwani Hospital. End of quote. And finally, police are investigating an incident in which a construction worker used a construction vehicle to destroy the reception area of a newly built hotel in Liverpool in the UK, reportedly because his pay of 80,000 shillings was delayed. Video of the incident which took place Monday afternoon shows the man use an excavator to ascend a small set of steps before clawing his way into the building and leaving a path of destruction. The destruction reportedly lasted for 30 minutes. The man, police say, is yet to be arrested. Brian Okoth for Citizen TV Trends.